Well, good evening, folks. Um, if you're a BC resident or live in Canada, you will know that uh, the Liberals have uh, been ousted out of uh, out of power. They they lost the election uh, by a slim margin, and Christy Clark is no longer the premier. Uh, I've got um, kind of mixed opinions about this, although. Christy Clark had done things that, I mean, really hard to like some of the things she's done. Um, I know that in that position of uh, power that uh, people do bad things. And this new guy, uh, Morgan, uh, for the NDP, he will be no different. He will do things that uh, we're not going to like either. He'll just do different things that we don't like. Um, Christy Clark, I mean, I don't want to make excuses for her because she did do, you know, kind of, kind of bitchy things here and there. Uh, but, um, I'm sure she also did really kind and nice things and, you know, worked very hard and really enjoyed what she was doing. Um, like any politician, obviously she was, uh, getting her, uh, palms greased and she was making a lot of money. And now that she's uh, not going to be the premier anymore, she will um, not have the same opportunities to um, make exorbitant amounts of money uh, as she once did. Uh, I could only imagine at this point, although uh, she accepted defeat with um, dignity uh, in a very respectful manner and... Um, you know, it was um, one of those things that um, she left with grace uh, because that would obviously be a very infuriating experience, uh, losing the election. Uh, there's no doubt about that. You couldn't ask a leader in her position to be happy about it, uh, to not be angry about it. That would be expected. So, you know, somewhere private, she's probably like, ah! with, uh, you know, a, a um, probably a glass of uh, wine in front of a fireplace in a big armchair. Uh, that's how I imagine um, the, her uh, demeanor uh, appearance would be at... Um, this evening after losing the election. Whereas Morgan is going to be uh, cracking open the champagne. He's going to be having a great old time. Uh, cameras ain't going to be taking photos of that, that's for sure. And that's the propaganda thing. Um, they said a lot of negative things about Christy Clark. Some of them were true. Some of them I don't actually believe were true. And um, the same thing will be this sort of thing with Morgan. Because it's the same government that always runs things it's always certain individuals who are neither are, are not on anyone's uh, side as far as parties go that's just to divide um, political leaders and then therefore able to divide the people and it's really just uh, centralized and it's you know it's certain people who never leave power no matter what happens for various reasons maybe they earn their way there Maybe they were born into privilege. Who knows why? They, never, they don't tell us these things. These people are anonymous shadows. And um, Christy Clark, um, she was a pleasant face. Um, and she told um, a narrative that was a bit more palatable, even though a lot of people really didn't like her. Uh, I know some people were adamantly against her. Uh, and, you know, that, as I said, is to be expected because people in power are usually there because um, uh, they're probably a tad bit evil. Um, it's just the nature of power. It's unavoidable. I mean, if you don't understand that, try watching Lord of the Rings and you might get a better idea. That's, you know, the, um, the basic ABCs of, uh, of uh, power. I don't think that uh, Christy Clark is going to turn into a Smeagol-type character and hide up in a cave and uh, uh, reminiscent about times where she was in power. 
I think she's going to be more like a Hillary Clinton where she doesn't really go away as far as being on the political scene. Obviously, she's not going to be making the kind of speeches she was making. She's not going to be doing the kind of things she was doing. She's not going to be making the kind of money she was making. But she's not going to go away. Uh, she's going to make it a point to be a thorn in the NDP side for as long as possible. Let's not forget that the government of Canada is a liberal government. Uh, for BC, it's going to be NDP now, but um, the country is still liberal. I mean, the liberal government and uh, when BC was liberal are two different things, but they're not that different. It's interchangeable uh, circumstances. And people like that, um, like Chrissy Clark, made deals that made um, business tycoons a lot of money. Uh, so she's not going to go away. Um, she was never going to be worth, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, like uh, like a president or a prime minister or anything like that. But she was, is going to live a very comfortable life. And... Um, I don't feel bad for her in that sense. I mean, she had her turn, and I believe in shuffling the deck, giving um, you know new parties the opportunity to take uh, take charge and make decisions. The problem with that is um, they can be ineffective if they don't have a long enough time to do things. Um, like with the president, if Donald Trump's only in there four years, and that's quite possible given his age, he's, he's quite old to be a president, uh, it's a limited amount of time to get things done. I mean, people go, oh, four years is a long time. Well, yeah, you've been around, you know, 30 plus years, and you go, well, four years, you know, really ain't that long a time. It, it goes by real quick. Uh, so things, they don't get done. I, I don't know a thing about the political system, okay, man? I work at a produce department. I hear snippets of news here and there. I probably sit down and actually watch the television news probably once a week. But uh, I do see things and I go, just because it's written down, just because it's portrayed in a certain manner, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true, especially when it comes to important things like politics, because it's all shrouded in mystery and confusion. Uh, so the main points I wanted to make, one, Christy Clark will not make as much money now. Uh, and she's obviously not going to be happy about that. That's understandable. She wasn't as bad as some people would like to portray her as, like, just totally evil and um, very bad. But on the other hand, she did have a mean streak, like all politicians do. This Morgan guy is going to be no different. He's going to do things that we don't like as well. Different things, as I said. Um, Christy Clark is not going to just fade away into obscurity she may make uh, the occasional appearance in public and make a, some sort of a speech you know every once in a while and then she'll just sort of drift away but um behind the scenes she's not going to go away um she's made too many allies uh, made too many mo too much money for the wrong kind of people and um she's, she's just not going to go away completely just because you don't see somebody on the television who was in power, doesn't mean they've gone away. George W. Bush isn't gone away. People think, oh, he's not the president anymore, they don't talk about him so much, he's gone. No, that ain't true. Guys like that, people like that, uh, and Christy Clark, um, they never truly leave power. In fact, Christy Clark is probably plotting her revenge as we speak, uh, similarly to how Hillary Clinton was with Donald Trump, and still is. Um, as far as, you know, the technical rhetoric, uh, babble that, uh, gets associated with politics, I don't know any of that stuff. I can't stay interested in it. It's boring as hell. Uh, because I know what people say, what they think and what they do are quite often different things. Not always, but quite often different things. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of people, they don't, they don't see things for what they are. They just see um, uh, kind of like a they live uh, kind of atmosphere and they don't have the glasses to um, properly see.
uh, the world for what it really is. I'm not saying there's literally horrible monsters out there, but maybe I am saying there are literally horrible monsters out there. Anyway, um, we got a new government. We're going to see how that goes. And, um, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. I bet uh, the NDP doesn't even know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, anyway, that's what I got. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.